Blue Bossa. What else has two Bs? Basic Bitches. And this is the most basic bitch of Basic Bitches songs. Like this, there's no more basic than Blue Bossa. It's the first song they teach you in combo, in middle school. And it's for a good reason. It goes between two keys. It's really, really short. The form is super short. It's eight measures for the A, eight measures for the B. Now it's in C minor. Let's get through that melody first. You gotta get the melody in your ear, even on these songs. <laughs> That's the first motif, very scaly, right? And then you have this nice leap. The first motif in the melody happens on two chords. That descending scale thing is on the C minor, the one chord. And then you go to the four minor. That melodic little bit is something you can already learn from in the transition. It's so nice to go flat three, two, an octave up, one, on the four minor. Even if you just improvise whatever and do that when the four minor happens, you get this. Right? That, that's a thing. Now the second part of the melody of the A is just like the first one, it's just down. It's a sequence. But what does it happen on? It's a minor 2, 5, 1 to C. So you have D half diminished, G7, C minor. Let's look at the notes. So the scale changes when you get to that G7. It has a B in it. It has to be either altered or really what it's coming from is mixolydian flat two, flat six. It's like C harmonic minor over that G. And then you get this sound. But again, let's take a look at that nice melodic leap. You have that. To wrap back around to the one, what did they do? They have the fifth, jumping up to the fourth, down to the flat and third. So let's extrapolate a principle here with the leap. You have chord tone, up to a tension, down to a chord tone. That's what they do in this melody and it's super nice to move from chord to chord. You got... I just improvise a line and I just steal that on both the changes I have this it's pretty cool now let's take a look at the B section we have this little melody it starts on the two chord in D flat, it modulated to sort of a different key. It went a half step up to a major key. So that's just very scaly. It's a two, five, one in D flat, E flat minor. When you get to that one chord, it starts with a suspension that resolves right away. The four goes to the three. And then that same motif for the last two bars. Now let's talk about the harmony. What's happening here? I have a one minor, C minor, four minor, F minor, two measures each. Now one measure D half diminished, one measure G7, two measure C minor. Then it goes up a minor third, that minor chord, to the two chord in D flat. It's E flat minor, A flat seven, D flat major. And now another minor two, five, one in C. One measure, one measure, and then 
back to C minor. Usually right here you'll put another G7 to turn the whole song around. That's the whole thing. Now what do I play over what? So starting from the one chord, I have C minor, one minor. It's a little bit better to play Dorian or melodic minor than Aeolian or harmonic minor. The flat six on that one chord sounds good as an enclosure of the fifth. But just to run a scale, it sounds pretty bad. Sound like a metal guy lost at the wrong gig, right? Not really the sound. So you wanna play C Dorian to F Dorian to D Locrian, which is the same scale as F Dorian. It's both E flat major. Then on the G7, you can do harmonic minor five below, meaning mixolydian flat two, flat six, or C harmonic minor, however you wanna visualize that, this sound. <laughs> Resolving back to C Dorian. Let's go through that A section. You got this. That's the sound. Now, other things you can do on measure two. You can pretend it's a C7 leading to that F minor, and then you can play C mixolydian flat two, flat six, or C altered. That sounds like this. Let's start with the flat two, flat six. You got. Led really nicely to that F. Here's altered. That D Locrian. Here I can play G altered if I want. That was C melodic minor instead of C Dorian. I can do that too. Then I have this 2 5 1 to D flat. It's E flat Dorian. Here I can play A flat altered or half whole diminished. That sounds good too. Or this sound, which is sort of a natural 9 flat 13 sound. So that's like playing D flat melodic minor. It's a cool sound too. Uh, usually, I'm really more in the altered vein. I go... Then, just another minor 2-5-1. Another cool sound is on the 2 chord, you can play Locrian Natural 2, which is F melodic minor. You can go... You can go... Altered on the G, which is A flat melodic minor. Resolving to Dorian, so that sound. A little bit more modern. I'm gonna play some lines and tell you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. I'm gonna go through C Dorian. Mixolydian flat two flat six to C Dorian. Now I can do C Dorian, C altered, F Dorian. Now I can play that F melodic minor on the D half diminished, which gives me Locrian natural nine on the D to G altered. E 
flat, Dorian. I can play maybe A flat, half or uh, symmetric diminished. To D flat major. To D locrian. So there are a lot of options. It's a pretty basic bitch song, but you don't have to play on it in a basic bitch way. Namaste, everybody. Click all the buttons, leave a comment, join our Patreon. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.